Hello, I am finally here again for more Paleo News. Finally got time off to actually do another video. Uh, let's get started. First up, uh, some dinosaur eggs were discovered, and they appeared to be laid uh, near hot springs. And uh, they found about 80 clutches of fossilized eggs, about a dozen in each clutch. And they were laid like 10 feet away from a geyser, like the Old Faithful geyser or something like that, uh, near a hot spring, uh, suggesting that the, the the eggs will better incubate in that kind of environment, near uh, laid in very hot soil. The species of dinosaur that laid the eggs has not been determined, but uh, they say bones that were found in the vicinity of that area were uh, belong to titanosaurs. Uh, they say, um, yeah, again, the dinosaurs intentionally laid the eggs in this hot environment. Well, uh, well, the article says there's a one to two month long gestation period for the eggs. I don't know how they possibly know that, but I don't really study eggs that much. Uh, maybe there might be a way to find out. Uh, the eggshells were uh, very thick, too. They're between one point two nine and seven point nine four uh, millimeters thick uh... compare that to a chicken which is only point three one one millimeters thick and so they think uh... the eggs were better adapted for uh... being laid in that kind of uh, environment and that's pretty cool next up uh... they found a giant whale named leviathan and it was a leviathan it was a uh, prehistoric sperm whale. Uh, they found only the skull uh, that was 10 feet long. So far, they don't know how big the whole animal was. Uh, uh, there's not even estimates on the whole overall length of it either. Uh, the it's a prehistoric sperm whale, like I said, and it has teeth in upper and lower jaw, unlike the modern sperm whale, which only has teeth in the lower jaw. And uh, I believe Brigmo five setter has teeth in both jaws. Uh, as well. The name, the species, well, I told you the name was Leviathan, and the species name is Melavali, I think, uh, named after the guy that wrote the book Moby Dick. Uh, the teeth were about 14 inches long, 36 centimeters. Uh, that is actually, that's pretty big teeth for a while. And they believe that the uh, diet of these animals, as you can see in the picture, were other baleen whales. That's how big this guy was. And they said this this whale uh, shared the ocean with uh, Megalodon. So that is, I think that's pretty cool. It would be interesting to see these guys like fight for territory. That, oh, that would be awesome. And next up, they did more research on Neanderthals, suggesting that Neanderthals have huge upper arms, or just huge arms in general, like uh, they call it Popeye arms. And they say that genes, uh, just certain genes, the climate they were in, and the only meat diet, and uh, peculiar hormones suggest why they have such big arms. Uh, they say when they uh, go out hunting they they go on head to head with the animal they're hunting just uh, maybe with a spear and they probably fight the animal and the female Neanderthals as well also have huge arms they said the females weren't delicate creatures either uh, they were doing research on a femur bone of a uh, that was found in Russia that they believe belonged to a Neanderthal and the the fossil this says the fossils display an unusual mixture of thick thickened walls with a narrow bone marrow uh, region cavities. This suggests that intense mineralization provided for the strong, sturdy bone structure with the uh, inner narrowness based on a stronger shaft, uh, articular requiring much less mineralization. Sorry if you couldn't hear that. Uh, that took that straight from the article. And. There's also way more in the article uh, down below. Uh, next up, uh, they have found multicellular uh, organisms, complex life that lived 2.1 billion years ago, uh, which is odd because which is uh, most of that stuff uh, were only single-celled organisms from about 4 billion years ago to 600 to 500 million years ago uh, was all single-celled stuff. But now they found multicellular animals 
uh, that lived two billion years ago. Uh, these were the sea, uh, little sea creatures. Uh, of, 250 fossils were found at the site, and they were all uh, just different shapes and sizes. And it talks about uh, the Cambrian explosion of life. And uh, that is pretty much it. And that is all my news for this week. All of the articles will be down below, as always, in the description, along with uh, the bonus articles and this week's paleo clip. Uh, sorry if I was inaudible uh, uh, this week, guys. I have a very strange sounding voice now uh, this week. <laughs> uh, but uh, have a groovy day, and I'll be back uh, next time. See you later, guys.